realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Check this out, right? Check this out, right? You'll never be ashamed of who you are. If you serve God and serve God proudly, the fact is you should be celebrated. Robinson and welcome to the Khadivis Robinson Challenge. This week, this week's challenge talks about taking risk and faith. There's a quote that says, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. I repeat, that cave you fear to enter, it holds the treasure you seek. You see, this time around in our lives, we must remember something. Whenever we would, you know, read, you know, scriptures or whenever we would read books, no matter if it was old religious books or spiritual books, you know, the Bible, Quran, Torah, you know, any of the books that about, and it, it, it talks about how God spoke to people, you know, and not only did, did God speak to people, he spoke to them in different types of ways. And many times uh, the speaking came through dreams. 
you know, you would hear about uh, someone who, who had a dream, and then they would have to interpret the dream. I mean, back in the day, you would hear about the pharaohs and the emperors, and they had people to, to interpret their dreams. And, uh, and what we failed to realize is that it wasn't as if uh, these were the only people that had their dreams interpreted, nor was it these the only people that God spoke to through their dreams. You know, I'm, I'm reminded when it was, uh, I think it was Jacob, who, who went through so much for so, so long a period of time, and as he was coming back uh, from his, his journey and being away from his, his family and being away from his brother, he came through and he, he took a nap. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very telling because he took a nap and he laid his uh, head on, on a hard place, you know, on a rock, and he's laying there and he's sleeping, and he had a dream. And in that dream, he, he, he had actually had a fight and he wrestled somebody and, you know, got injured in the actual wrestling in his dream, actually, and woke up and he, and he, and he said, you know, that dream pretty much told him, surely the presence of the Lord was in this place all along, and I, I did not know. And the thing about that is why would one have to take a nap or go to sleep in such a hostile place, you know, in a place that probably, you know, most of us couldn't fall asleep in, for one. And then secondly, could someone have a, a, a dream in their sleep, get injured in the dream in their sleep, and they actually become injured in real life? I mean, just think about that for, for a moment. But thirdly, the, the, the most important thing is, you know, he didn't blow off the dream. You know what I'm saying? You know how some, you know, we dream every day, every night, I would say. Every night when we go to sleep, we have dreams. And sometimes we forget the dreams, and sometimes we remember them. And sometimes we have a dream that's so, you know, so strong that it resonates with us so much that we, it wakes us up. It, it literally wakes us up from our sleep. And many times when we awaken from a dream, we just we go, ah, oh, you know, I was having a nightmare. I was having this dream, and I'm glad I'm awake now or you know, I don't, I don't know what that was about. And we go back to sleep, or the next day we just go on about our lives. But should we really do that? I, I mean, is that, should we sit back and think maybe, just maybe, something, someone is trying to speak to us? You see, because when you're asleep, when, you, when you're asleep and you're in a relaxed state, you know, you got to understand that not only, not only are you just rela- relaxing and resting, your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind is, is, is still still flowing. You know, and a lot of times we're not able to gather information, we're not able to, uh, to consume information and, and see things uh, properly because of our conscious mind, because of our filters, because you cannot see yourself when you are in the frame. But if you're asleep, you know, you just your mind just there for a while. When you're asleep, and, and this is this is one thing that I find to be pretty amazing about sleeping. Think about this: when you sleep, and you're and you're you're you yourself, and you're talking to somebody, whomever's in your in your dream, whoever that person is, and you say, "Hey, how was uh, how was the um, how was work yesterday?" And then that person says, and you're sitting there waiting for that person to ask you on how work was, and that person might say, oh, work was good or work was bad or whatever. But here's the amazing thing. You're sitting there acting as if you don't know what that person's response is. But think about this. It's all you. So if it's all you, why don't you know the response? Why is it when you're dreaming, right, everything that's going on is all you. That's not really necessarily somebody else there. So when you're asking a, a question in a dream or when, when, when your dream's going along, you're making your mind. It's making up all of these things. So what I'm saying is when you think about it, it uh, think about it, it's like, where did this come from? You know? And what I think is I think God has a way. The universe has a way of connecting with us one way or the other. You see, energy is real. And what I mean by that, we've all uh, gone to a room, walked in the room, and it's already people in the room, and we notice that either the energy is funny. We say, man, they must have been talking about me in this room because some, something's not up on it. Or we might go somewhere, and we might be in a restaurant, or we might be at a store, or we might be in class or whatever, and we just feel like somebody's staring at us. And we just happen to glance over our shoulder to the right, and we connect with the eyes of someone staring right at us. And our eyes connect with theirs, and then they shake it off, and we shake it off. But you know what? We can feel it. That's energy. We can feel it. Also, think about this. You know, you, you, you pick up a cell phone, right? 
There's nothing connected to a little small phone that can fit in the palm of your hand. And and you pick up a cell phone and you can talk to someone on the other side of the world. Now, with all my might, I can scream as loud as I can, and they couldn't hear me a mile away. As loud as I can, I can scream as loud as I can a mile away. They couldn't hear me, but I can be on a little cell phone and go hello, and they can hear me from here in Ohio all the way in Australia. What is energy? Energy is real. So what I'm saying is dreams, dreams. You know, uh, Langston Hughes said it best. He said, hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, you know, life is a, you know, broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams. For if dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. He's saying, you know, you have these dreams. And he was talking about gold dreams. But the dreams I'm talking about is dreams where you fall asleep. So I think what's happening nowadays is a lot of people are depressed. A lot of people are sad. A lot of people are down because they feel like they're not getting the answers from God. They feel like they're not able to connect to something powerful and bigger than themselves. They feel like they don't, they're not in control. And not only that, they feel like somebody else or something else is in control, and they don't understand it. And what I'm telling you is the answers is there. What I'm telling you is when you have that dream, when you have a dream and you wake up and in your dream you did some amazing stuff, don't blow that off. Don't go, ah, you know what, I just, ah, oh, that's not make any sense. No. Wake up and think, why did I have that dream? Why did I have that dream last? I could have dreamt anything. And remember, you know, there's a part in, the, in, in my favorite book that it, that it, that it showed uh, 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 things happening in sequences and numbers, and not only was it just, good things, but it's also bad things. You can dream something that can be telling you, hey, you know what, you might want to watch out for that. You might want to change that around. See, you see, right now, this message is, is it's probably not for everybody, but it's somebody. There's somebody that has had a recurring dream, or there's somebody that had dreams that, 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 that connect. What I mean by that is, it's like you had some of it a month ago, and then you dreamed again the, 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 the next month, and it added on to that dream you had a month ago. You're like, hold on, I think I dreamt that before. What is this about? And what this is about is you need to take account to what that dream is trying to tell you. So my, 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 my challenge for you this week is to kind of try your best. And it's, it's very hard. You know, because it's like you know, like you you decide before you go to sleep, and you know you're going to dream certain things. But it's like, okay, when you wake up in the morning, you say, okay, what was I dream? Oh, let me see what. And then now you're going to start seeing things. Now you're going to start experiencing things. Now you're going to say, aha, aha. I've noticed that now. I'm looking for a car, so now I've seen all these different cars that I'm kind of interested in. I started putting this energy out there about, uh, 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 you know, coaching more people, doing more life spiritual coaching, doing more health and fitness coaching. And, and as I put that out there, I've dreamed about ways of doing it. And I've waken up and I say, let me write this down. Or I've just I've, I've dreamed about somebody I hadn't talked to in years. Hadn't seen them since I moved from California. And I said, what did I dream about this person out of the blue about nothing? Now, I could have just blew it off and kept it moving, and I said, okay, let me try to contact this person. And lo and behold, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, with this organization, a nonprofit organization that I work with, they said, you know, I'm looking, we're looking for a female that has a, a has a, a interesting story, you know. Hopefully, they have a connection with Africa, you know, somehow. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then just last week, I had somebody else connect with me. I have a friend that's a, a, an amazing speaker and trainer, and he's writing a book. And they're like, man, you know what? We're looking for somebody that want to be a part of this book, you know? And I'm like, ah, that's what it is, you know? So now I'm like, this is the connection. I got to get in touch with this person, and I did. And I got to not only tell her about this, but convince her. Because, you know, here's the thing. You can be at the right place at the right time and don't take action. And this is as if you were never there. See, that's something I got to tell myself because every day, I, I'm an idea guy. I, I come up with stuff all the time. I'm working out, and I'm coming up with all these great ideas, and, and, and either I do one of two things. I'll start on the idea, and then after a while, it'll fizzle out, and I don't, uh, you know, stay with it, or I just never start on it. And what I need to do is I need to start putting that time and energy into it. I need to, as, as I was saying, when I have that dream, I need to wake up from the dream and say, surely 
the presence of the Lord was in this place all along, and I, and I did not know that God was in this in this place all along, and God had me have this dream, and, and there's nothing superfluous in the Bible, and God says nothing or does nothing superfluous. I mean, God did this for a reason, and I need to just listen and take action. Remember, it ain't about just listening. Listening is not, it's not you know, a good in and of itself. Now, listening is good. But some things are meant to be taken into account as taking action. So this week, for the Cleveland Robinson Challenge, my challenge for you is to say, listen to your dreams. And then that dream that you have that's waking you up from your sleep, that dream that you have that you keep having over and over again, think about what, what's, what's trying to be uh, relayed to you and then take action on it. This has been Kadivas Robinson. This is the Kadivas Robinson Challenge. And once again, I holler. Shout out D on the track. Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions. And I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, got my yeah, head yeah. To the best, say nothing left to give it that reverence that the father gets. So every day I work the sweat, can get a flesh another rest. They say go hard or go home. I say just do whatever's best. It's evident I'm blessed and I work like it. Fight, fight like a Viking. Fight, fight like a lichen. The difference is I like it, so I shine like I'm lightning. So I'm going head to head with something death. Who you liking? <laughs> yeah. So it's time for coach to put me in. I'm strapping on my shoulder pads, lacing up my cleats, and then I'm gone with the wind. Like I'm gone in 60 seconds. You can't hold me. You can't check me. Check the memo. Check the message running through. Like, like I'm bad as I'm trucking. Whoever's standing in my way. Hey, hey, no way you gon' stop me. You better run to let me in. Cause I go hard even though they say no way that I could win. Like I'm Brett Bond. I'ma ride this game. My head is in. Like a different way to play the lane Now my rushing yards just got rocketing Now I'm so insane For the kingdom building Now my shot, it cannot be contained So I'm going pray for change For myself and then what I can I don't need no euros or no pesos Or no money grams Shout out to Wado Cause I know that he gon' play this fam The FCA sports camp Game changer, summer jam I don't need a hundred grand And tell them that they need the lamb It's heaven, it's just who I am Al Kim, this what I stand Trap to turn around, get back in it. Never, never that, that's something insane. It's every day your butt they change. Like I'm Jack Johnson, the same year he changed his name. So I sacrifice my life for the cause just to win. And if you a game changer, let me see my you represent. Now put me in, cuz I'm a game changer. 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 I'm